So we're going to move on. We're very lucky today. We have a really cool seminar uh, that I, I entitled it for, David. It's called uh, Pez on Wheels, and it's going to be all about trucks. And we're going to turn you over to a Pennsylvanian who is going to tell us all about Pez trucks today. So we're going to spotlight you, Dave, and it's all you. I'll help you with any questions that come in. I actually like Megan's name for the seminar first. She called it with the truck. Even better. <laughs> so I'm going to start uh, actually at the beginning with trucks with the A series, and I'll try and show some color variations of each one as go along, and then tie the wheels and things like that in at the end. So there was actually three different um, cab styles. They were numbered one, four, and sixteen. So here's an example of well, if we could see that. Is that background messing things up? Yeah, you gotta, if you put it directly in front of your body, we'll be able to see it. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. So. Yeah, yep, just like that. Cool. So that's the A1s. And here's a couple of different greens in A4, and this is also called the BM, uh, BMW style truck. So it's orange, that's like a turquoise color. And then there's a couple different reds. I don't know how they're coming up on there. And it's kind of hard to see with the background. Yeah, let me get rid of that background. It was better without it. Uh, choose virtual background. None. Okay, is that better? <laughs> yeah, looks good. Now we can see them. So these are 16s. That's the last um, style of truck. And again, A trucks are single axle in the back and a single fender. Come in a variety of colors. And I'll talk about the wheels at the end. The wheels on the A truck and the wheels on the C series truck are very similar. And a lot of times they're intermixed. And I, I don't really find it too big of a deal, but um, if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't be able to see the difference. So next we go over to a B series truck. And B series are basically um, a different rear fender. And in both cases, you'll see that the, the fender and the cab should match in color probably like 90% of the time. I have seen some where they haven't matched, but I've never seen one in cello like that. So this one here is a um, B number eight. There's also B9 and uh, B13. It sounds like we're playing bingo. So B9, and that's the style for B9. This one's an army green, and this is a green on orange. And then you have some B13s in different colors. And again, the, and the wheels on these are way different than the A. They're gonna, these wheels will tie into the, to the next series, which is probably the rarest series. And that's the BR series. And the name BR comes from, because it's a, it's a uh, B style fender, which is a dip rear fender. And it's cabs are numbered R. So, and there's two types of those. Um, this one is actually the rarest of them. It's the made in Brazil one. And I actually took a couple of pictures to show you um, what the markings look like because it's hard on here. So it should have that marking at the bottom. It's actually embossed. And if you'll notice, the PEZ lettering is vertical on one side and it's horizontal on the other. These are almost impossible to find because Joe Paravati hoards them all. So um, let's see what else about these. Yeah, and if you'll notice the way the fender is set, the fender is set almost to the middle of the cab, where on the B series, it's more towards the back. And the cab and the fender don't match on the Brazil ones. You'll always find the fender matching the color of the cab, not the other way around. Oh, and a couple of interesting ones on the 
on the A that I forgot about. There's, um, some people call them test trucks. They're actually blank, meaning no made in country, no patent number. And here's a picture if it helps. It's not too much of a glare. So that's the first kind of BR series. And the, the next is Mexico. So the Mexico ones come in a plethora of colors, a lot more than with the Brazil. The Brazil, the Brazil only come in actually um, four colors, uh, black, brown, orange, or red cabs. But since it's Brazil, you never know what will turn up. There's always new stuff turning up. So the Mexico ones are... Um, lettered with the R series. <clears throat> so BR and the R is the um, like R1 through R4 is what the cab is numbered. So this one here is an R2. So you can see it's the same style as a um, R CR series truck, which I'll show you in a little bit with the indented rear fender. Here's a couple of Different ones. Here's an R. This is an R3. And then there's R4s, CR4s, or BR4s, I'm sorry. And all of these are unmarked. This just has PEZ on them. There's no country markings on them. And the cabs have R markings. So this is R4 and, and R4. But you can also find it with a blank cab. So this is blank stem, but the cab also has no R mark. And again, I'll, I'll get into the wheels, but these wheels look like V wheels, but they're different. So if you ever find one cheap and you think I'll just sacrifice a B truck and make a BR truck whole, it ain't gonna work. So next we move on to the C series. So basically with the C-Series trucks, um, they use the same cabs as the A-Series, but they added a couple. So you have C1, um, C2, 3, 4, 5, and then 16. I don't know why they just didn't go to 7, but they went to 16. So here's a couple of different yellows. These are C1s. And the C trucks are different from the B trucks and the A trucks in that uh, it's a double rear axle in the back, but it's a straight fender. And you could basically find these uh, either, they're either usually made in Austria or um, Yugoslavia or Yugoslavia, kind of like the A trucks. So that's some yellows. And then this is C2. And you can see some different colored greens there. and also C2s in blue. I mean, the fun thing about trucks, especially when you start with the C series, is there's so many different colors and variations and C trucks you can get for, you know, starting at like 10 bucks. They go up in price, but you can start there. Um, and then I have, uh, let's see, C4. Here's some pretty cool different color oranges. Some of these are almost translucent. I don't know how that's coming out. And again, this is the same style as A. It's a BMW style truck. I have a little inventory system in them. So basically, when I get a truck in, if it's something I need, I'll basically inventory it, tag it with the number, and put it in a spreadsheet. So I can keep track of you know, what colors I have and, and which ones I need. And then you have C16. It's the same style basically on the cab as the A series truck. One thing that's cool too, and this is, here's A and C. These are mono trucks. So everything matches, cab, stem, and fender. I, I think they're put together. They're pretty cool looking. That's why I like them. I've never seen any of them in package, but. They're really, you know, pretty interesting. Somebody has one in package, I'd love to hear about it.
All right, next we transition over to what's called CR. So this is, and their cabs are R1 through R4. This is a CR1. So basically it looks like a C truck with the straight rear fender. It has the cab of a D truck and the wheels roll. This was kind of a transition piece um, going from C to D. And like I said, it comes in, that's the one, this is the R2. R3 and R4. All right. Moving along, we go into the D series. Everybody loves the D series trucks. It's basically um, as simple as the 36 trucks is the complete set when you count the cab colors with the trailer colors. However, there's Slovenia versus Yugoslavia and the stem colors really do vary. So this is an R1. And on the left, you see Yugoslavia and on the right, it's Slovenia. If you're gonna start collecting trucks, uh, uh, I don't know if you wanna go down these rabbit holes or not, but these are the R2, uh, DR2. And the difference with the D trucks is fixed wheels. What kind of fun is that? What kid wants that truck that the wheels don't move? So these were kind of the precursor going into um, the newer style trucks. Uh, I kind of I, I like it to Hot Wheels. And when Hot Wheels came out, Matchbox were blown out of the water. And they changed, then they changed their wheels to like their super fast wheels, like in the early 70s for Matchbox to try and compete with Hot Wheels. So these are DR3. And again, you can see the color differences between Slovenia and Yugoslavia. And then the R4, same thing. So then they basically transitioned into what's called the Misfit trucks. So this is a a series of them. So they basically come on, they have either silver or black cabs, either orange or red wheels, and then the trailers are either white or glow in the dark. And with these trucks, the Misfits, the rear axle color matches the color of the trailer. And then you transition into what's called Joe's truck. I think it was a guy named Joe Summers in Chicago who kind of worked along to try and get those trucks out there. I'm not sure exactly how he did it, but um, you could see here where the trailer and the cab colors match. I think rear fender rather. So what else do we have? Oh, now, what about these guys? They look like C trucks. They come in yellow, orange, or pink, cab matching the fender, and black trailers. And for these, you have to give a shout out to the Pez Outlaw, Steve Glue. I don't know if he's on the seminar or not, but he was the one that actually made these trucks possible. Um, of which the orange and black, for some reason, is absolutely the hardest of the three to find. They're very hard to find. Um, and a lot of times the wheels are glued in place. That's perfectly normal. These couple out here, the, wheel, the wheels roll, but it was perfectly normal for them to be glued in place. All right. So let's see. I hope these pictures, can you see these pictures, Morgan, or is it glary? There, those ones are, are glare. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of a glare, but you can. Okay. What I'm trying to show you here is the difference between the axles. So this is a, um, a BR truck from Mexico and a BR truck from, um, Brazil. And you could see 
that the axles are a lot thicker. I don't know if that picture shows it better. You can see the Brazil one here is it's a thick axle and it's a skinny axle on the other. That's why I said if you think you're going to interchange the wheels, it's not going to work. The other thing about wheels is you have the rare white wheels. So this is on a C truck. They also come on A trucks. And if you notice, the wheels I've always seen are um, B style wheels. And there's also blue wheels. So I have a, put a couple of pictures to try and show the difference and then I'll hold them up. So I don't know if you can see that one. That's this truck here. It's actually that light blue color versus next to a black color, the regular wheel. So that's something to look for. But there's also a more subtle one. This one here is kind of a darker blue. So you won't, won't really be able to see, but the one over here is the one that's blue versus black. So that's something to look at because big difference between these two. Sometimes you might buy one on eBay and get lucky and you end up with that. And then you have the newer trucks. I won't really talk about them. These are probably the rarest of them, the Versona. Um, I think there was 125 of each made. Yeah, 125. And Versona was some social media platform in Florida and they, um, I think it was like 2007, they had those trucks made. Then you have things like this, which is not put out by Pez. It's a fantasy Pez, but somebody actually did a really good job on it. It's just a label on top of a D truck, but they did really cool ones. And they did different companies, Dr. Pepper, Kodak, Mountain Dew, Pepsi, a lot of the sodas and whatnot. Then you have things like this. Again, it's fan made, just gold painted. Some of them are plated. Some of the packaging that you can find in it. This is like a C series truck on the car. This is a B series truck, but it's all kind of a newer car. And these show up from time to time. They're pretty neat piece. It's almost as if they had extra stock um, laying around. And then of course there's all different cellos that they come in. And this one's actually kind of cool. It's, it's a soft cello. It's almost like a, uh, a saran type bag. And this is one of the CR trucks in there. And if you can see the candy, this truck was made for the Canadian market. So everybody up there in Canada, look out for these the CR trucks, especially the orange, yellow on orange the hardest to find of the CR trucks. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. David, are you what? willing to take a couple questions? We've had a few yeah, come sure. in. Sure, shoot. Um, someone asked, do you know how many Walmart employee trucks were made? I don't. No. And then someone asked, um, they've heard about transition pieces, a 3.9 stem, but with solid wheels. A 3.9 like uh, trailer with solid wheels? That. I would say that's something somebody just put together. They're easy to pop the spring out and put a new one in. So I would say that, that the cab was probably swapped into that stem. Okay. Uh, let's see. There were some others. Uh, someone wants uh, to know if Oh, I'm sorry, Morgan. Someone wants no, no, to know no, if, you, I was... if you collect Hot Wheels or Matchbox cars, if you're into that. <laughs> I had them from when I was a kid. <laughs> I don't actively collect them. Uh, some are, a couple are asking how you, how you display the trucks or what's the best way to display trucks? I'm in the process of that. Um, the best way is, is uh, some of the cabinets that have the plexiglass. It's... Um, What's his name makes them? Uh, Gene? Gene, yeah. Gene Courtney, yeah. He makes some really nice displays. I kind of just have them, you know, my favorite ones out displayed. I don't have everything out displayed yet. It's kind of a 
work in progress. And then someone asked uh, the hardest truck for you to get. This one. I'm telling you, Joe Paravati hogs them. <laughs> Love you, Joe. <laughs> Love you too, Davey. <laughs> so who has more trucks, you or a car? To be a question that popped up a few times. Farmer Romano? Yeah. I don't know. I, I think probably in sheer numbers, he might have more. Have to arm wrestle over it. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't live too far from me, probably about an hour. Yeah. Are there any other questions for uh, David about trucks or about his life or about anything, <laughs> really? Brian said that we know Joe's trucks. We need some Dave trucks. We need you to design your own. I'll work on that. Um, I have a question. It's yeah. uh, the numbering system is kind of weird, especially in the A's. You just kind of skip the 16. Do we know why that is, or is it just? I've never been able to find that out. I think I even asked Sean that, and he, he wasn't sure why. Hmm. Yeah, it's really weird that they did that. And then when they went from A to C, they continued the same numbering, whereas with the B right. trucks, they changed it. And they just added on in the C series. Yeah, when I first started collecting, uh, before I knew anyone or did anything uh, online like that, I was trying to collect the trucks, you know, four through 15. I was, where's, I need an A13. I can't find it. But they didn't exist. I just assumed that every number would have been there. Exactly. And then it's funny because you think the R series trucks are so new. But the R numbering system with the Mexico and the Brazil. Yeah, and the um, gold and these. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Joe, quit it. <laughs> uh, someone asked, oh, a lot of comments coming in. Let's see. Someone asked, are, well, are trucks your favorite and do you collect other vintage or is your focus really the trucks? No, nah, trucks are one of my favorites. Cello, I love. And then also other vintage, I mean, regulars, animals. Yeah. Um, someone asked how many, how many of the older trucks were made? And I feel like that's almost with the color variations, almost an impossible. It's, I'm telling you. If, impossible if you, to answer. If I laid all them out, you'll see I have maybe 25 different reds and they're all different in some way or another. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's crazy. When you start to really look at them, you'll, you'll go crazy when you go down the rabbit hole. Even, like I said, even with the D-series trucks, you'll get two Slovenia or Slovenia and Yugoslavia. These colors are totally different. I got to keep them both. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Brian wants to know uh, how many Nivea trucks there are. I think there's only one real Nivea truck. There's some backdoor Nivea's. The real Nivea trucks, the blue one with the white lettering. I think there's some backdoor ones that are blue with yellow, and then there's a red and a green. They're the only ones I think there are. And, had several uh, requests come in uh, asking if you will please write a book on trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, Scott, me and Scott were going to work on a on a book on actually cello. And then uh, he suggested me and Carmen write a truck book. And he's been after Carmine. So we'll see. I think that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> we'll be happy to promote it here at the convention. I said between the two of us putting our stuff together, we should, you know, get most of them and then we can get uh, some of the rarer stuff from uh, Joe, John, and so on. Yeah. Let's see. I'm checking to see if we missed anything. I'd love for you to come back to the VPC and talk about cello sometime. Uh, I, just, I love that. I think that'd be a good one. I think people would be really interested in it. Uh, Kathleen Iavino wants to know if you collect the new advertising ones. Do you I do, still yeah. pick them up? Yeah, I pick them up. I like them. I like that Wawa keeps putting them out every year, and some companies just kind of did one and done. Yeah, I love they the Wawa ones. Year. And they're I local, prefer, so it's an I easy prefer one. sheets. Just saying. <laughs> but sheets only did one. I, I, I know, I know. And they're inferior uh, in other ways. Someone Morgan, asked, don't start that again, Morgan. <laughs> someone asked, what is your favorite truck? 
My favorite truck are the Mexican and Brazil ones, only because you don't know what's out there. Mm -hmm. For the other ones, you, you know what's out there, it's just that you could get variations of the color, but I sold some of the Mexican trucks a while ago, and I'm sorry I did, because I had some that were like iridescent red and iridescent blue, I mean, crazy colors. And God only knows what's down in Brazil still, yet the surface. Because every once in a while you find pens that come out of there that are just insane. And I'm sure there's different trucks that are there too. We What's the one from that you're... Brazil? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the rarest truck that you're dying to own? Brian has to know. The rarest truck? Another one of the Brazil ones. In orange, red, or um, I have a black, uh, orange, red, or brown. There's a yellow now too. Is there? The Spinafel one, yeah. Oh, man. I think it was yellow and black. Yellow and black. John, my uh, birthday will be coming up <laughs> in about nine months. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any other questions? Any other questions? All right. Thank you, David. No if problem. you have any questions for David, feel free to send him a message or chat yeah. with him sometime. To the message through Facebook or whatever. Yeah. Thanks a bunch. We'll hope to have you again so you can do one on cello for us. Awesome. I think everybody would love that. All right. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.